Rain and camping don't typically go together like peanut butter and jam. But the wet weather didn't bother anybody at the first ever June Jam, hosted by a few local companies this past weekend. Nualta is one of the companies, which is a company I work for, uh, Breckis, uh, Trucking, uh, Scotch Hydrovac, Renko, and oh geez, uh, Secure Energy, the list goes on and on. The June Jam started when members of the band Roadworn realized their desire to play a festival. Soon after, they began speaking to their employers, and before long, not only would they be performing at such a show, but they'd be hosting it as well. I work with Renko, of course, but I also play in the band. So when Art, and Art works with New Alta, so it's kind of, I said, I can get the gear, let's get it going. Well, it might not have been perfect weather for an outdoor music festival, but it's kind of appropriate that it was raining cats and dogs when you consider who it was in support of. When we first sat down to, to do this, our company got involved. Well, let's have a weekend party. Well, so it kind of grew. Well, well, geez, now that we're at it, let's... Let's find, you know, find somebody that needs some, some help and uh, we're like, well, let's get the SPCA and, you know, there's always a lot of dogs you gotta feed. Not only did the local companies donate things like food, tents, equipment, but a dozen bands also donated their time. And even with a rainy Friday night, it would have been tough to find someone who wasn't having a good time. Yeah, it was rainy. It was awesome. Everybody's inside the tent. Real community feel. So the music was great once again. Now that the June Jam has come and gone and a little precipitation couldn't even put a damper on it, organizers say they expect this to be the first of many. I think it's going to be a greater show next year and the years after that. Jeremy Keefe, CJDC-TV News, Taylor.